Welcome to Roughing It With Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. In this video, I'd like to talk about one of the routes that I've actually done several times now in the Drakensberg, the Mweni Rockeries route. I'm going to try to give as much information as possible in this video while also keeping it relatively short. Please keep in mind that this is by no means an exhaustive list of all of the information about this route. Please go and do your own research and make sure that you find out what the current conditions are in that area. The total distance of this route is just over 40 kilometers long and you can do it in any amount of time that you like. You can do it in one day, which is what happens when people do the Mweni Marathon, or you can do it over three or four or five days. We did the hike over three days and two nights. The map that you're going to want to look at for this particular area is the Slingsby map number one for the Royal Natal Mweni area. The trailhead or starting point for this hike is the Mweni Cultural Center. They offer camping and hikers chalets, although you can stay in other accommodation in Bergville or the amphitheater backpackers, but you must remember to sign the mountain register which is located at the Mweni Cultural Center. To get to the Mweni Cultural Center, you will have to drive on some dirt roads, but you shouldn't need a 4x4 unless it is very, very wet. Day number one for us was from the Mweni Cultural Center to Chi Chi Bush Camp. Day one was pretty rough. <laughs> there were not enough painkillers in the world. <laughs> day one. Ralph said it was going to be 16 kilometers and then it ended up being 20 say that. kilometers. I did say that it was 20 instead. We yeah. set up our campsite in the dark. And I'm so sorry I said 16 k's. <laughs> I, I also thought it was 16 k's, all right? It hurts being like to you. It hurts being like to you. Yesterday, we thought the Chichi Bush Camp was 16 kilometers from the Mweni Cultural Center, and it's more like 20 kilometers from the Mweni Cultural Center. But then it was very, very nice because we all came and squished together in this tent and ate delicious food and drank lots and lots of beer. It was fantastic. We found a clean slate. We're starting today with a clean slate. Well, we're starting off on a clean slate. I am. <laughs> there it is. I'm on it. I'm starting off on it. Oh, God. <laughs> I started off badly. <laughs>
that little saddle that you can see in the middle of the frame on the right hand side of the little bump is Mooney Pass. And this is Rockery's Pass behind Johan. The usual peak in the bell in the background. Uh, day three was fine. We hiked off the escarpment and then on the road, which is pretty boring. <laughs> and now we're here drinking beer. A flawless hike, no issues, apart from the fact that we didn't go into the cave. Soz. <laughs> I couldn't make it, just guys. Hustle. Ledger's cave, it's not for the faint of heart. My favorite part, part by far of this hike was everyone doing the Lord of the Rings <laughs> thing up, up Mwenny Pass. I really love this particular route. The Mweni Rockeries route is popular for a very good reason. It's a fantastic hike to do. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Ralph, on a scale of one to hypothermia, how cold are you right now? Uh, what's lower than hypothermia? Absolute zero. Yes, that's me. <laughs> my molecules are no longer working.